to determine.NET Core version. That's what we want to do. So let's. So here you go to that place where we are searching. You type, you look for Visual Studio. That's it. Hmm? Then you click on it. So this is Visual Studio Code now. It's opening. It's opening. It's opening. So now that it's finally open, you go to View, you click on View. Oh, it's like it's still opening. It's still opening. So okay. Now it has finished opening. You go to view, you click on terminal. But meanwhile, it's activating extensions. So view terminal. How this extensions? Extensions. Those remember those extensions that we installed. Yeah, so are they the same thing as SDK? No, they are different. The extensions they are just meant to help the SDK to work well, and they are meant to make life easy for you so now our terminal has opened here now hmm? now yeah dot net dot no no not dot like that capital the small dot net together no no together space i think two i think we have version now Press enter. So that's the version of the net you have on this computer. 3.1404. My on my computer when I ran it this morning, it said five point something. That's because I installed Visual Studio 2019. Hmm? I'm recording now. Go to that folder where that we are using for our program. Just minimize this one. Just go to that place and uh, minimize. And uh, where is the folder that we are using for our project? Is it not on C drive? Okay, is it here? No. Okay, this is our record. Yes, should be on C drive. Check your C drive. Go to C. Open C, open local disk C. Okay, open it. Now go to code. Now right click on an empty space, sir. Folder. Chapter 0 2. Just the way you created that first one. No space, sir. Click outside, sir. Click outside, sir. Good. Now let's pause the. No, sir. Go back. Yeah, you are inside it now. New folder basics. One S more. Click outside, sir. Thank you. Okay. So open it with Visual Studio Code, the way I did. Go to this. Click that. That okay? It's just hold on. It's like it's opening. Now click on view at the top. Click on terminal. Look at terminal. 
click on it good fine it has brought us to that place so you're going to be typing here click here click take the mouse sir, and click here they are start typing .net space new space console press enter then you wait okay you can see what it's saying template console application was created successfully determining so did you hear something it's making noise uh, like like uh, the partial contact program.cs okay so it said it said activating extensions Abby? okay he said activating extensions you saw it Abby? Eh? Uh, you look you see it in the video hmm? so that's that now let's pause the video again so go ahead sir and change that small l2 to change it to small l what, what will be the effect and do it sir and see the effect okay what is the first effect that's, that's the question you put a red line on that Okay, to tell you that uh, there is an issue and that and the guy that put the red line on that is that c-sharp extension that we installed okay. I say and let me explain something to you c-sharp is is a case sensitive language well we what we mean by is a case sensitive language uh, where, where? is that where yeah, you so are supposed to type capital no letter, letter, you type capital letter and you type you should type letter. capital letter where you are supposed to type uppercase and you type lowercase there will be an issue the program will not comply okay so go to view problems click on view problems that's problems click on it say console does not contain a definition for right line is actually complaining about this place okay all right so so go ahead and remove that semicolon can you see it tells you that it's it it finds two uh two errors isn't it now you are going to correct the errors now change that lower case l back to upper case l then watch that what happens now did you see the problems are reduced from two to one isn't it now put back the semicolon no semicolon sir now no problems again eh? please go back to files and click save Five comma save. Five comma save. Five save. Yeah. Five save. This one. Yes. Okay. That's fine. Outputs. a carriage return can you see that sir can you see that this is an example of what sir from what we did before is this single line comment or multi line comment that's single, that's single line comment hmm? let me put i put a carriage return let me put uh, our first single line comment eh? 
Are you following, sir? Hmm? A very single line comment. Sorry, that's what we teachers do. Abby? So, in other words, if we type console, can you see the thing is helping us to type? Console. Dot. Right line. Hmm? Now I put a semicolon at the end to show that the statement has ended. Hmm? So I press enter. Eh? So nothing to display if you run it. Not yes. Inside, not inside the uh, let's try it. Let's run. Let's save it and run. Right. Right. You do save, right, right. isn't it? Then you just do run. Bam. Super. For you to run, I have just start debugging. Hmm? Oh, let me just say run. Okay, let me see. Let me say .NET for environment. It asks me for the environment. Okay, hold on. Let's just go to run. Or better still, it's better you go to view terminal. Eh? Eh? Remember the command to run it is .NET. Sorry, the command to run it is dot net run. Eh? Dot net what? Run. Now it's running now. It has run. You just show blank line like we said. You remember when we did hello world? This is the output. That is the blank line. Now you see it. Meanwhile, let's continue to our program again. Let's pause. So this comment now. Output the written and and moves to the next line. I don't want to use carry Python. Hmm? And moves to the next line. Now, sorry, excuse me. Next line. Note that this is the second single line comment. This, the the single line comments you can see they are in green. They are color coded in in green. So output the greeting. So what greeting am I going to say? Console. Dot. Right line. Happy New Year, Mama, Mister Peter. Full stop. Hmm? And then there is something missing, which is our semi colon. You get that, sir? Then we go to file, we go to save. Then we say dot net run. Then 
we press enter so the first one prints a blank line then this one says happy new year mr peter and then goes to the next word yeah. this uh is it because you, you write this statement that make it go to the next line? It's the right line that makes it go to the next line. Okay, right line. Yes, no, there's no. another thing called console.write. For example, let me do this one now. Do it, do it. Let me uh, is it, this is a green line now. No, it's not uh, the green line. Those ones I've told you they are not part of the program. Okay, they are comments. They are just to explain to you. Still now let me do something. Let me do console dot write. You call that comment of this thing. Uh, what? Please watch. It's comments I call them. Console dot write. Let me just say console dot write. Let me say empty empty string. Eh? Let me change this one to do console dot write. Hmm? Happy. You know that they are on different lines now. Okay, let me say console dot write. Hi. Are you following? And then I have console dot write. Happy New Year, Mr. Peter. Let me go to file. Let me go to save. Now, let me do dot net run. Hmm? Dot net. Watch. What happened to Hi and Happy New Year, Mr. Peter? My name is Ten. Eh? Greetings, Ten. No, 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 no. Are they on different lines or on the same line? On different lines. Please, sir, look very well. Hi. And happy new year, Mr. Peter. The last thing that I ran. But well, this high is not appearing at all. What is this, sir? What is this? Did they appear on the same line or on different lines? Wait, two things are here. The, run, the, the system ran these two, these two together. Run. Of these two programs together, be? yes. The reason is because I'm no longer saying right line, I'm saying right, right, right line. There is a difference between right. console dot right and console dot right line. That's what I'm trying to reinforce here. What's the difference now? The difference is that if I say console dot right, it will write whatever stuff I tell it to write, and it will stay on that line, it will not move to the next line. Are you following? But if I say right line, after writing whatever I tell it to write, what will happen? It moves to the next line. So that's the reason why you have this output here. Console the right I, so it writes I, and it still stays on this same line. Okay? Eh? So now, and I say console dot right, happy new year, Mr. Peter. So it takes the happy new year, Mr. Peter, and join it at the back of this one, because I didn't tell this one to go to the next line. Are you following? Now, if I want it, this one to go to the, if I want it to write Happy New Year, Mr. Peter, on the next line, let me put space between my Mr. and Peter. If I want it to write to, for them to be on the next line, on different line now, I have to change this one back to what? To write what? Wait, which one? Wait, let me understand this. This one and this one, are they not from this address? No, they are not. This one was the one that we ran before. The one that we ran before. Are you following? Wait, let me see whether closing the terminal will make it to disappear. New terminal. Okay. This one was the one that we ran before. Hmm? Forget about this one. Okay, I think, wait, don't, oh, let me just... Let me just close the pro program. Are you following? I've closed the program now. Now, I'm going to open the program afresh. Eh? 
I'm going to open the program first. Now let me go to this C sharp lesson. Oh, sorry. Let me go to add this. Uh, I'm going to add this C. We are going to close the lesson very soon. Let's go. We'll continue later. This look at this. Okay. Now this is where we have. Now this our C sharp lesson. This code. This chapter O two. This basics. Okay. This chapter O two. This basics. Let's right click on it and say open with code. Hmm? Opening it with code. This is where we, this is the last stuff we we'll do tonight. We'll continue on Thursday after it. So we'll be taking it small, small, small. Okay. Yes. Eh? Yes, exactly. Yeah, because I already see that because most of this is now, just now. In there for the first time. Okay, now watch. Look at the the program has opened. Eh? Now, you know, because I closed everything and opened it again, what happened? You can't see those outputs again. So now, you know now, the statement is console.write i, console.write happy new year. Happy. So let me run it again. Let's see what we have. Are you getting it? So I'm going to run it. I say dot net run. Are you following? Then I press enter. Let's see. What did this? So what's the output now? Uh, I Are they on the same line or on different lines? They are the same line. They combine this and this now. Yes. Line. Now what is making them to be on the same line is because I'm using right instead of right line. So if I use right, if I use right, it's good to combine all those statements in one line. Yes. If we use a right line, it will put them on different lines. So if I want to separate these two now, I need to put right line in at least one place. And that one place is at the this top statement. Abby? So let's put the stop statement. Let's change this one to right line. Hmm? Okay. Now, fine. Let's see. Let's close this. Hmm? I've closed it to after saving. Hmm? Now let's right click. Let's say open with code. Hmm? Okay. Okay, now it's showing. It's showing the. It's showing. It's showing the right line, isn't it? It's showing the right line, isn't it? So let's run it now. You remember what the output was the last time? Okay, I'll well, type dot net run for us. Dot net space run. We yeah, enter. Can you see the difference? Where is I now? Okay. On a different line. But note that this guy, assuming we were to put under statement after this now, it will be on the same line with this one. What did we use here? Right. <laughs> you get my point. So on that note, we'll stop for tonight. Uh, eh? Assuming we put the right line now, this statement will actually be on this line too. Yes, of course, but only that. This, only this one will be separate. Will be on its own different line. Yeah, that's eh, but it depends for you to know what will be the effect. 
is you can only know that if you put something after this one now. But no, no. What I mean is, if I suppose I was, I, I wrote console dot write uh, AG book after this one, what will happen? This one, Happy New Year, Mr. Peter and AG book, they will be together because I'm using right here, not right line. Um, 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 doctor, what I'm saying is that, and that's your point, what I'm saying is that this one is on its own line because of the, because right, of this, uh, uh, the right line. Yes. And this one now has no, uh, it only has a right, right. no line. Yes. And my question is, let's assume now we put that line here. Uh, it yeah. will still maintain its own line. Like it will still maintain its own line, but whatever you now type after it, it will push it to the next line. Just know that once you have right line. Okay, let me check it. No, you know what? The best way for you to do it is type something. I don't know whatever you want to type. Type it after after that one. Hmm? Come up with something and type console dot write whatever. Type it after that. Let's right, see what you right have. Press, yes, yeah, now got, press enter now. Oh yeah, console, console dot, dot write. Anything you wish. Okay, console. you are not obeying. Okay, well it's even helping you. Okay. It's yeah, console good. Console dot. dot. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. I'll write. Okay, right. Why? Pick it up. Pick it up. Right. Okay, right line. Uh -huh. Open bracket. No, 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 no. Shift. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Shift double. Uh, then shift double quote. Okay. No, the okay. double quote. Okay. You, okay. you are typing a string. You have to put whatever you want Inside to Inside the bracket on there. Yes. Oh, yeah. So what do you want to type there? Where is your semicolon? Okay. Uh, this is, uh, then, the, the string must be. No, no, you saved your work. Okay. Abby? I have not saved it yet. I go to file save. But to S, we must save. But okay, that question. you don't do it too. Now, okay. so that you don't miss it. Okay, I do dot net run. No, 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 no. This is where you go now. You click okay. here and do dot net run. Did you understand? I clicked it. Yes. We yes. do dot net run. It has not yet run yet. This was the old one that you ran. Eh? I uh, know it's coming. Okay. Now, what happened? Do you understand what happened? Same line. You know why they are on the same line? The reason why they are on the same line is because of this line. Okay, this what did you use? What did you use here? Right. Right. Now, if you want them to be on different line, you need to change this one to write what? Right. Line. So do it and let's see. Okay, save. Now do dot uh, take the use the mouse yourself. Click here and do dot natural. Enter. Alpha. Everything is on different lines now. You get it now, sir? Yes. So right line, if you want it to be on another line, then you yes. must of necessity use right line. That's just it. So, right, uh, right line. so we on that note we end the lecture today.